day, the party begins to disintegrate and lose it. Even as of now, before these five elections are coming, we can already see that we're better where we are now than before. That shows, first of all, the true reflection of the election and the presidential, and also shows the kind of character this party has. And I think that is something that we should do. What that says is there is a great foundation for the party to go ahead. So my own appeal to everybody is to say I think that this victory that the other party has seen is going to be short lived. We have a great future ahead and I believe that we will start that on Saturday to make sure that we defend those five states that are ours. This is conclusive if anybody believes that it is a loss to PDP. It is a loss to the country that is true, not for me. We said it many, years, many times here that the worst we want to do is to do an election that as a country in Nigeria will not be proud of. We have done a good election and no doubt anybody, who those that think have won, are ashamed of the kind of election that we need. And I think it is a shame to the country and to those that will be their responsibility to do. They have Saturday as their last opportunity to try as much as possible to reclaim part of that embarrassment to the country. How can a country like Nigeria, as the speaker said, Ghana has done this, even Congo, even Zimbabwe have done elections. And we say we do elections, we say we inconclusive. We did elections before 2015, we did 2011, and we went on before then, 20, 2007, 1999. And after so many years, this is what we can produce. It is not a loss to PDP, it's to the country. It just shows the level of desperation. And for many other leaders, I think the country always will be after an election. So I am confident that this is short lived. And as such, let us ensure for Saturday that these five states that are ours, we name the PDP and I name, should form us at this last point. Stand up and do what is right. Today in the Senate, we we'll discuss the issue of neutralization. Again, this is something that as a country we should not be proud of. We have set a bad example, not only with Nigeria, but even the continent, when we bring militarization to our election. It has never been like this. For an institution that is well respected across the country, this is not the role they should be playing. And as such, I think as a country, when we finish the elections, we will have a postman on these major issues. But for those who also have come here to give support and encouragement to the states, Kano, Bauchi, Sokuto, Rivers, Bedway, Adamawa, um, Bedway, and Plato that have election, that they should go there and do the right thing. And let INEC, for once, be seen to be consistent in the application of the interpretation of the law and let the wish of the people be what to emerge on Saturday so that you can start trying to reclaim that integrity that has been passed developed by these actions. Because at the end of the day, that is what this country has. So for our party members, and Mr. Chairman, I show that after the Saturday election, we will pick the time to now do a post and begin to build for the, for the next election. Four years it sounds a long time, it's a very short period of time. Especially when you have a party that for what the permutation that we have, we have a party at least with 15 states. That is a strong opposition party that we can build on. That is the party we should be proud of. And that is the party that we can make to launch our way going forward. So for all the members, I want us not to feel despair, not to feel down. But as I, we said from day one, our opposition was never the APC. Our opposition was always the security agencies. But on what added to that, it was also an INEC who could not stand and be firm and do what is right. And, and that is what we need to address. But for Saturday, for the, all the members of those states, we will continue to give them the support. So I will come back here and have those number of states that will take us forward. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.